What's up YouTube, this is Lucas with Foxhawk Gaming, and today I'm here with Path of Exile. Now, this game has been out for quite a while, but they have just released their Fall of Oriath expansion. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's attracted in a lot of new players from what I understand. I myself am included. I have played around a little bit with the game to see exactly what I was getting into. And I actually have a build that I'm going to follow with a new character. It's kind of a game where you have to plan out what you're doing. And I'll provide a link in the description below of the starter character friendly guide that I found online. It's going to be a Firestorm build, so essentially from what I understand, a Fire Mage. I'm going to go with the League Harbinger. Alright, let's go with that. This game plays a lot like Diablo, so not entirely a noob, but I am new to this game. Alright, there's our fireball. This will give us our fireball spell. I do find this game very entertaining, and for free-to-play I'm quite impressed, especially since they don't have necessary microtransactions. That really attracted me into give this game a try. It's mostly cosmetics, from what I understand. Oh, I think I actually want to make that move here instead so that on my left click so that if I get surrounded I can easily get out instead of accidentally attacking okay arcane surge so this is going to give us more damage and mana regeneration and cast speed okay Got an ignite off. So, at first, this game can seem a bit overwhelming just because of how incredibly open the build system is. There's an absolutely huge skill tree that we're probably going to see here in just a few minutes and it also has builds with unique items so you can build around certain items some of those aren't uh, friendly to newcomers as well because they cost a lot of currency to trade for so I made sure to build and find a guy that was good for solo playing at least so I can dip my feet in and see exactly what we're dealing with here oh boss so let's do it oh yeah forgot we have potions and they come back whenever we kill enemies so pretty pretty aggressive system I'm sure Ooh, driftwood wand I like that okay so now we've gained a skill point and for those who haven't seen this game this is what I mean at first it can seem extremely overwhelming but if you find or come up with a solid plan to build your character, it it can be very manageable. So since this is a Firestorm build, essentially an AoE Fire Spell build, we're going to go the Spell Damage route. Enter town for your reward. Okay. A wifish, waterlogged witch, washed up in ray cloth. I saw what Lion Eyes watch isn't much. Okay. 
Okay, so I do have some items left over from my test character run that I was using, but so your stash is shared between all your characters, but I don't think I have anything particularly great. Another fireball. Gym. Okay, anyways, let's take a look. Let's use a scroll of wisdom. Increase physical damage. What the hell? Okay, either way, we're going to be using it for the increased spell damage. Sure. Movement speed. Boom. That's pretty good. Is it choice that fate will find? Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? Okay, so here for our quest reward, we've got the ability to choose multiple things, and I think what we want here is we want zombie. Stay sharp out there. Okay, it is good that to works. See you. Let's sell items. Okay, so we're ready to move on to our quests. We gotta go to Tidal Islands, which like my sisters. will have a way to get onto it from here. Skeletons, can I have? How long do they last? Up to three zombies at a time. Okay. Let me move in this closer. Alright. Now we've got our army of zombies. Okay. zombies up here. Ooh, we got a rare item. I believe yellow is rare. Hatchet, so it's probably not that good for us. I really don't know items in this game so far. Let's level up our gems. Let's see. Elemental damage, but it's a staff. Oh, mace. That might work. go south here. Okay, we need to gain access to up here like we were before. Okay, let's just go to town. To learn is to live. We leveled up, so... We're gonna have a new skill. Let's get more spell damage. That'll work well for this build. Oh, that looks 
looks like a boss that's running away from us. Alright. Seems like Ray Zombie is doing very well for us at the start. Fair, really easy difficulty here, though. Southwest. Okay. These zombies are doing considerable damage. things before I get a chance to go to them. Oh, we found a waypoint on our map. Let's go get that. Oh, it looks like we ran into a harbinger. So, from what I've seen, it's just these monsters will spawn and they're linked to the harbinger's health and he'll continue summoning until we've worn down his health. Transmutation. Okay, here's where he died. Yeah, let's get those orbs. Okay, so we found both a uh, way to Tidal Island, hopefully. As well as the waypoint. Oh, this is the mud flats. No, we gotta go back. I think this is just the coast, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, it took me a second, but there's a little path off this coast. Alright, let's get that medicine chest. Is that Harbinger I see? Also, I haven't looked up minion management and if that exists in this game. Like, if I where I can command them to go. So, I'll have to look that up. Let's get some minions here. They seem to be the bulk of our power right now. Let's get some more spell damage.
cannot. You don't meet the requirements. Oh, requires level four. I believe we're level three now. So we'll level those up once we meet their level requirements. So let's head back to Lion Eyes Watch. Oh, looks like I can level them up now. Welcome. There's the quest. I almost stopped believing in them. Life flask. This movement flask seems super useful. Going to get that. Goodbye. Not as in useful for combat, but just useful in speeding through content. So, you managed it. Do we have our next quest? Oh, yeah, we gotta decide what to do. Got a job for you. Oh, okay. I think he's got our quest. Now, let's take a look. We could identify this. Not sure if it's good. Yeah, I don't think it's for our character. Oh, sell items. Might regret it, but let me know if I'm making a mistake by selling this. Okay, what's a scroll of wisdom? Yeah. Stay sharp out there. Let's deposit in our stash and let's keep going. Fetid pool. one. It's a boss. Didn't mean to pick that up. We got another driftwood wand. This might be useful for our leveling up. Let's take a look. 9%. That's about as good as my main. Cold resistance? I can deal with that. Okay. So, that's... Okay. Okay, so here we go. That glyph. I think this ray class will serve. Fetid pools. Let's see exactly what that is. Oh, it's an optional dungeon in this area, so let's look for it. Yeah, 
Harbinger. Looks like there's his guys. Says Haku is here. Oh, you he are is. a welcome sight, warrior. So let's find the Karai Karui spirit. We leveled up, so let's get more spell damage. are just traps, essentially. Traps are destroying my minions. They're pretty easy for me to dodge, though. It's pretty easy. Okay. Looks like the spirit is there. We found him. Okay, so this wasn't even the fetid pools. It doesn't look like this was just this the quest. The way, Calm's kingdom fell not to Tukuhama. Okay, so we still need to find the fetid pools. Let's go to check out this way, although I'm sure it's just coasts. Looks like it. Okay. <laughs> Quest 
chest over here. Glyphs. Submerged passage. I think that's the way to the next area. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Still need to look for the fetid pools. So let's kill some guys. There we go. Fetid pools. Zombies got him. is undead, so that's bad. Flask. We're actually good with getting that. Padded vest. We can use it. So let's take a look at what we get. Intelligence, energy shield, life. I like life. Um, might as well get this identified. I'll take it. Some cold resistance. Kill all the monsters. Fetid pools. Let's get more damage.
must have been some monsters we missed. And there they are. Okay. Let's go back. Now that you okay, let's that. turn in our quest, see what we get. Hmm. I know Raging Spirit is really good, but this isn't a Raging Spirit build. And I think I, I think I'm supposed to take Orb of Storms. I believe so. A necromancer. Just the one, was it? Oh, we get some passive skills. On the road via prisoners Stay sharp. Good timing, warrior. Okay, let's sell some of what we've got. Alright, so I think I'm going to call this video there. So we've begun our Witch Firestorm build. Again, I'm going to post a link to exactly where I got that. It looks like a very starter character friendly guide. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you have experience with Path to Exile, uh, feel free to let me know anything I may have messed up on or any information that may be helpful as I really enjoy this game and want to dig deeper into some of the depth. Uh, if you are new to the game as am I then I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to continue making videos for it. Anyways like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.